Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand about the addition and subtraction operation in case of sign magnitude numbers. So sign magnitude representation is one of the form to express the negative integer number or the signed integer numbers. So I have made a separate video on sign magnitude representation. You can watch that video in the number system playlist. You can find the link in the description below. So you should watch that video because to understand this addition and subtraction operation, you should know how the numbers are expressed in the sign magnitude representation. So let's start. So just to recall how you will express a given number into the sign magnitude representation. So in sign magnitude, the MSP bit is reserved for the sign and the remaining bits are used to represent the magnitude. So in this plus 14, 14 is the magnitude. So we are expressing this as 110 and this plus is represented by this 0. Okay, 0 is telling me the, that this is a positive number. And if you want to express minus 14, so magnitude will be represented by these bits and this minus sign will be represented by this one. Okay, so 1 is telling me the, the number is negative. Now, if you want to express minus 4 in more number of bits, so here we have used total how many bits? 5 bits including the sign bit. And if we want to represent it in 6 bits now, so how you will do? So the last bit 1 will be reserved for the sign. Now for representing 14, I will use 5 bits. So this is 14 and I can add 0. Okay. So these 5 bits are now again telling me 14 only. Right. And this total 6 bits, they are representing minus 14. So this is also valid and this is also valid. Okay. Now in the fourth example, if you want to express a given binary number, which is actually a sign magnitude represented form, then how you would convert a, that number into the decimal number. So again, this is telling me that this is a positive number and this is telling me the magnitude. Magnitude is 21. So this is a positive 21 or the simple 21. Now this number is actually a negative because one is telling me that this is a negative number. So minus is used for that and these bits are telling me the magnitude. So this is 21. So this is total minus 21. Okay. So now let's move forward and see how we can do the addition and subtraction operation on the numbers which are expressed using the sign magnitude representation. So basically if you want to perform the addition. So basically if you want to perform addition and subtraction operation in sign magnitude numbers, we have total 8 number of cases by which we can perform this addition and subtraction. So here you can see we have the different columns. These columns are telling me the different operation that we want to perform. This add magnitude is telling me that we have to add the magnitude and to perform the subtraction operation, we have to actually do the subtraction based on the magnitude comparison. Okay. So here it is telling me that if the magnitude A is greater than B, then I will perform this operation. If A is lesser than B, then I will do something. And if both the magnitude are equal, then I will do the other type of operation. Okay. So the addition and subtraction operation in case of sign magnitude represented numbers, they are not straightforward. Okay. We have to take care of the signs also. So let's understand these operation one by one. Okay. So let's say you want to add two numbers A and B. So first number is positive of A and second number is positive of B. Okay. And you want to add these two numbers. So here A is telling me the magnitude of the number plus is the sign. B is the next number and plus is that sign. Okay. And when here we are comparing the two numbers. Okay. So this A is this one only. That means for example, you are adding two numbers 6 and 3. So you can assume that this is plus 6. Okay. And this 3 is like plus of 3. Okay. So this is like 6 is A and plus is the sign and it is like plus and 3 is the magnitude. So 3 is the like B value. Okay. So here when you will compare this A and B, that means you are comparing what? A that means 6, B are comparing 3. Okay. If you need. Okay. So after adding this plus 6 and plus 3, you should get 9. So here what you will do if you are adding two positive numbers which are of same sign plus and plus, then you can directly add them using this formula or this way that is a plus b and the result that is a plus b will be having the sign as positive only. Okay. Similarly, if you want to add negative a and negative b that is two same sign numbers, then you can directly add them and you have to precede it with the minus sign. Okay. So for example, you are adding minus 6 and minus 3. Both are negative. 
okay so what you will do you will say 6 plus 3 you will do this thing and then you will add minus sign that is it will be minus 9 okay and you know that minus 6 and the minus 3 addition will be minus 9 only okay similarly for the case number 6 and case 7 again we have to do the addition operation only we have to add the magnitude only okay but here you can see if you want to subtract plus a and the minus b for example you have the plus 6 and you have the minus 3 okay and you want to subtract so what you will do you will say 6 plus 3 because 6 is the magnitude 3 is the magnitude and then for the result you will add plus sign okay so you can also understand that this can be represented as 6 plus 3 in the normal mathematics also the same way the computer do the same thing okay the sign of the result will be positive but in the other case that is seventh case minus a and plus b if they are subtracted we will do a plus b but the sign of the result will be minus that means it will be 6 plus 3 that is 9 but it will be total minus 9 as the answer okay so these are the way in which we can perform some of the operation so let's understand them with the help of example so suppose for example we are talking about the first case so here we want to add 6 and 3 now here i have represented all the numbers in the total 5 bits okay so in total 5 bits how i can represent so this is actually positive 6 and positive 3 so positive means this is the sign bit and this is actually 6 in total 4 bits same way this positive is being represented by 0 and 3 is being represented by this so to add these two positive numbers what i have to do i have to directly add the magnitude okay so what is the magnitude so you have to take care this is the magnitude okay and this is the magnitude so while adding the magnitude you do not have to check for the sign you do not have to add this 0 0 because these are the sign bit right so you add them so this will be 1 1 and 1 will be 0 1 1 and 1 will be again 0 carry will be 1 and 1 will be carried here okay so i got 1 0 0 1 right so this is the magnitude so what is this so it is total 9 okay so this is 9 so i got 6 plus 3 equal to 9 okay and the sign of this number will be positive okay so it will be positive so positive means i will add 0 here so now these are total 5 bits okay so computer will represent this answer in 5 bits okay this 0 is telling me the plus sign and this is telling me the 9 okay similarly if you want to subtract these numbers so here you can see we have the minus 6 and minus 3 right so for this the operation says that you have to just add the magnitude a and b okay so magnitude is this one right this is the magnitude so if i add them again i will get the same answer right but the answer will be having the sign minus so for the minus sign what will be here it will be 1 here okay so this is telling me that this is a minus and this 1001 is telling me that this is a 9 so i got minus 9 after i added minus 6 plus minus 3 right so this way i will get minus 9 now in the same way i can perform the 6 and 7 operation you can check by yourself because 6 and 7 operation they are both like first and the fourth operation only right now let's take the example of the second case so let's say if you want to add plus 7 and the next number is minus 4 okay so the answer of this will be simply 3 right so for this case we have several cases what are the several cases we will actually subtract the magnitude okay and how i will subtract the magnitude i have three cases what are the three cases again we have to compare the magnitude based on the magnitude whichever is greater i will subtract accordingly so if a is greater i will say a minus b if b is greater i will say b minus b a or if both are equal i can simply say a minus b and signs will be preceded accordingly so here you can see in 7 and 4 7 and 4 are the magnitude right so here this a and b are only telling me the magnitude so for example we have the number 7 as we have seen and we have the another number minus 4 right so here this is a and b is only 4 okay we are not taking minus uh, 4 as the b right so magnitude is only the 4 so out of 7 and 4 who is greater 7 is greater so here what it will be it will lie on the first case so i will say 7 minus 4 okay and then i will add 
plus sign. So 7 minus 4 will be 3 and 8 will be plus 3. So I got the same answer. So here you can see 7 is being represented as this way, minus 4 is being represented this way. So these are the sine wave. Now what I will do? I will subtract as we have seen. So 1 minus 0 will be 1, 1 minus 0 will be 1, 1 minus 1 will be 0 and 0 minus 0 will be 0. So this is my answer that is this is the magnitude of the result and which sign I will use positive. So for positive I will add 0. So this is total 3. Okay. This is like positive 3. Okay. So this way the computer adds this number. Now let's say again in the second case we want to add two numbers that is 4 and the minus 7 and we want to add. Okay. So this is my example. So here you can see we have the positive 4 and we have the minus 7. So this is my A and this minus 7 is my B. So here you have to see which magnitude is greater 4 or 7. So you will say 7 that is B is greater. So here you will see that A is smaller and B is greater. So what you will do? You will actually do B minus A that is 7 minus 4. Okay to find the result this will give me the magnitude and you will add this minus sign. Okay so this way you will get minus of 3. Okay, so you have to see that which magnitude is greater, right? So that means you will just say 7 and 7 is means there is no sign. Okay, so you will say 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and what is 4? See 4 is like 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, we are not uh, adding the signs. Okay, we are just like uh, we are discarding this for the time being. And now what you will do? You will subtract. So you will subtract. So it will be 1, 1, 0, 0, right? So it will give me 3. And after that, what you did, you say you will add minus sign that is 1, okay, because the answer was having the minus sign. So this will give me minus of 3, right. So in this way, the computer adds or subtracts the two numbers. The same thing you can apply for the other cases, okay. So you have to take care that while adding and subtracting the sign magnitude numbers, we have to add subtract based on their sign bit, okay. So you have seen that in case of the sign magnitude representations, the arithmetic operations that is addition, subtraction, they are somewhat complex. But in case of one's complement and two's complement, they will be somewhat less complex. In case of the two's complement, they will be like very less complex. And modern computer perform the addition, subtraction or the arithmetic operation using the two's complement representation only. So we will be seeing the addition, subtraction or the arithmetic operation on the ones and twos complement in the coming videos. So you can check those videos in the number system playlist. So yeah, that is for this video. So if you have any comment, question, suggestion, please write down into the comment box and do like and share this video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. If you have any question, please do write down into the comment box. So see you in the next video with the next arithmetic operations. So thank you.